hello there, this is Hobby Guy. I decided today I'm just going to go ahead and do some sanding on these shelving units today. I was going to work on the uh, wooden boxes some more. I was going to get them ready, get them uh, sanded down, do their finished sanding, and do some uh, clear coating on. But it rained out here this morning. It was an unexpected rain. So I, uh, I'm going to put that off for another day. Hopefully I can do it tomorrow. I like to start getting everything in clear as much as I can. My son has had some things come up, so he's unable to get the leather part of this done right at the moment. But he's going to do it. It's just going to take a little longer than I thought. So anyway, here's how I'm just going to do some hand sanding today. I'm not even going to use any power tools of any kind. At least I don't think I am. And the what I do is I, I, in the previous video, I showed you that I did the round over on the shelf here. And I rounded these corners over. And so now I'm going to do is just take my sander, my hand sander. I use these uh, uh, sanding sponges and I just wrap them in sandpaper. So I'm going to start off with some 80 grit here because it, it just makes things go a little faster. Out of my way for now. So, what I'm going to do is um, put my other eyeballs on first. Right. So, whenever I do a round over, it leaves uh, some marks on there so you get them off. And so, the fastest way to do is put a little bit of 80 grit on there, use that sanding sponge, and I just start to go over it. What's nice about the sanding sponge, it'll bend to that contour that you put in that wood. I just basically keep sanding on it because I'm happy with it. Once I use this 80 grit, and I'll use that 120 or whatever I got down here, 400. Let's see what it is. It's 320, so it'll work. So you just go around your rubber marks here and get them sand it off. And what that does is starts to make it look a little more pronounced. I do all my recordings as videos. I do them all off my iPhone. I have a 15, iPhone 15 Pro. I do the best I can with it. And, uh, so I have no way of modern this on my own. Usually my wife is here to help me do this uh, filming and stuff. And uh, she can get me zeroed in better than I can. So I hope some of it is coming out on, on the video. I'll know when I go to edit it how much of it came out.
I'm doing now, so I got some saw burn marks in there. I'm gonna try to sand that off today. Ingrain is usually pretty rough to work with. Just uh, gotta have patience and keep at it. Electric sander would hell already have this off of there, but. I feel like this is a noise morning. Now what I'll do is go over it with that uh, 320 and then try to get some of that roughness off of it from the 80 grit. Yeah, see that smoothing that all out nice and smooth. And it looks like I'm gonna have to get the electric sander out. I got a little bit of snipe in there I need to get out. I'll get the other sander out later. I, I probably won't do it right now. But... Yeah, this wood I'm working with is that poplar, that faulty poplar. I told you all about it. You follow some of my other videos. What it was, there was four poplar trees that were falling out here. And uh, they've been sitting out here on the poplar for like four years, cut down. And uh, landlady's son took them, had a sawmill, local sawmill, come and pick them up, cut them off into four planks. The one inch, about one inch thick. But, um, anyway, when they cut into it, they found all this spulking going on. It's made it pretty nice. I like it. It's a lot better than the plain old poplar. Yeah, I'll get the electric sander out on the front of this one. So what I've elected to do to attach this top shelf to the bottom here. This part here is going to be mounted on the on the wall. And then this will come in here like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this over to the drill press, and I'm going to probably put like four, uh, four drill four holes in there for screws to go through. That's probably what I'm doing with that. Another thing I like to do is I like to. Just drag that across the edges of my work. Not really trying to do a round though, just knocking that sharp edge off of there. It'll help people from not get hurt. So that when they rub their hand across there, there shouldn't get any splinters or anything. Now the side that goes towards the wall, I'm not going to worry too much about.
So voila, there we go. So yeah, I'm going to break out the electric one just to help speed this part of it up. I have on the sander right now is uh, 120. And that's usually good enough, especially if you're using an orbital sander. Disc off Amazon, 100 to a box. That way I don't have to keep ordering them all the time. It's not as expensive as I thought it was going to be. And this has got that felt on the back of it instead of the sticky. And I find these work a whole lot better than your sticky. But you'll see how hard this is to take off of here. Really sticks on it. Which is a good thing because that way you know it's not going to go flying off on you like sandpaper with the sticky on it. Because, but you just got to remember you got to line your holes up. Good to go. The reason why I was taking so long on this side is because it had some sniping on both ends here. I was trying to sand out of it. Not that it's a big deal because this is probably going to go towards the wall, but I wanted it nice and smooth. So, anyway, there's that. Just go on here like that. And I was going to go ahead and sand the snipe out from the top of this one, off the top here. So it's got a little bit of a snipe going on here. Same way on this thing here. Alrighty, there it is. Got it. Talk a little bit about sanders. This is the type I was using before. And I just recently bought this from Harbor Freight. It's called a Hercules. And um, it's orbital. And I prefer this over and above this any day of the week. Um, if you have this, you need to upgrade to this. If you ever own one of these, you'll see the big difference in how they how they work. 
just so much better, so much nicer than the way it sands. So I'll just keep this for backup. But, uh, Anyway, it's my recommendations. Not that I'm anybody to recommend anything. All right, this is going to be the end for part two on these shelving units. Um, what I decided to do is go ahead and make some wooden letters for it. These are being made out of mahogany. That's the E. And there's the S. That stands for my uh, it's the initials to my grandson's names. And uh, so anyway, this is where I'm at with it today. Oh yeah, I went ahead and uh, located the holes for the hooks. So they've been, been all drilled in. and That's all drilled in on both sets. Now we'll come back out either later today or tomorrow and I'll uh, take them off, sand everything down, probably go ahead and glue these on. I'm not gonna embed them or anything. I'm just gonna glue them right on top of the wood. I may end up remaking the E, I'm not sure. The S, I had it, I did it twice. This one here, I did it free-handed and I, it was just for an experiment. So what I ended up doing, I took the, the Fossner bit and drilled these out so they'd be the same and then cut everything out around it. it worked out pretty good. <laughs> and uh, these are about three inches tall, something like that, close enough. Anyway, this is the end of part two. Part three will be coming up soon. Uh, hopefully part three I'll uh, be assembling them and, and doing all that stuff. Uh, I'm not going to show you. I'll be sanding on it. But I don't think I'm going to show that process. I already showed you enough sanding. You, you watch the woodworking stuff. You've seen all kinds of people sand. So anyway, I'll be uh, sanding it tomorrow or later today, and then uh, quite possibly uh, drilling the holes in the top for the screws on the back side here for the bracing and stuff like that and um, I may show you that part of it and then we'll assemble it after all the sanding's done we'll assemble it and then we'll start clear coating it get it done <laughs> alrighty I'll talk to y'all later be blessed <laughs>